Hey, it's Arnel. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music, and I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so so much more. So for this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different because I've had so many revelations lately to do with my own shadow work, my own belief system. So I wanna read from my journal. And we're going to talk about worthiness and manifestation and how they kind of tie together about being worthy of your abundance because I've been really battling with this belief of unworthiness lately and so I love to journal and just let the thoughts kind of flow freely even the negative ones even the ones that talk about how unworthy I am I like to just let them free flow so then I can kind of like receive the downloads that I need and they just kind of come out of nowhere and then the revelation just comes out of nowhere and then I realise what I actually need to do and the kind of change in my belief system that I need. So I want to read what I wrote. I wrote this on the 23rd of December 2020. So I'm going to read this little page for you about worthiness and manifestation and then we'll dive into it. So I put I realise now that receiving isn't about worthiness, it's about vibrational alignment. My higher self isn't judging me on whether I'm worthy of what I want. They just see the bigger picture outside of space and time. They speak to me through my intuition, my dreams and synchronicities, guiding me from the bird's eye view. But it is my choice whether I listen, I have free will, and the guidance is to align me with all that I say I want, but I still have to follow the guidance to get into alignment. I have to do the shadow work and inner child work to transform old beliefs that keep me in low states. They want me to receive all that I want because they are me. <laughs> Revelation, hello. <laughs> now I lost where I was. Okay, because they are me. We are each other, aspects of each other. So it's not about worthiness. I am always worthy. I could never not be worthy. We are all infinitely worthy. Receiving abundance is not decided by worth. Receiving happens every single moment in every day, whether we are aware of it or not. But what we receive, like the types of experiences and connections that we receive is determined by our vibrational alignment and our intent towards our life, towards ourselves, towards everybody else and towards what we want. So this is why you focus on the present moment because our vibrational state is a moment to moment ever changing force. So we're gonna kind of dive into that. So it's not about worthiness because we are all worthy just by existing. Like we're literally souls in a vessel. So how could we ever be unworthy based upon our human interactions and what we do when we are so, so, so far beyond that and far greater than that and have probably had millions of lifetimes before this one and after this one and they're all happening at the exact same time because time does not really exist you know so they're all happening at once and you can access the future version of you and the past version of you by speaking to your inner child that's the past version of you you can access them through your own mind at any time that you choose so unworthiness just is a lie it's not something that you could ever be especially when it comes to receiving like we are receiving we are manifesting every second of every day the reality that you're in right now we've all created this whether it's through something that we actually wanted in this reality or whether it's a negative experience that we don't really want but that our soul has already agreed to before incarnation because we need to do whatever it is that we came here to do you know so we're all manifesting constantly, but what we receive is not determined by our worth. It is determined by our vibrational alignment. And you've probably heard people say that all the time, but I never fully grasped or internalised what that meant in my own life, in the fact that we need to be focused on the present moment because our vibrational state 
is a moment to moment ever changing force like we feel emotions constantly we are always flowing i always say riding the wave we are always flowing that through that water through that wave of emotion energy in motion is emotion so it's always moving it's always fluctuating and how we decide or determine our vibrational state is through our daily practices which happen in the present moment because we're doing something in every moment that we're then able to tune into our vibration and see what's happening what's just triggered us why did that trigger us what thought created it you know like we're able to have that level of self-awareness in the present moment to understand what emotion is happening so that we can then allow it to release we can embrace the fact that fear is coming up right now so that it releases by itself so yeah i just had a revelation about worthiness and also about receiving your abundance in the fact that you can receive everything that you want because your higher self wants you to receive it because they are you because they are a part of you and you are a part of them and it's not a separate deity in the sky it's not a god in the sky it's not a man or a woman in the sky it is an aspect of your own consciousness and that aspect of you is not restricted by time they're not in the human experience we're multi multi-dimensional beings so that aspect of you gets the bird's eye view and can see the many versions of you existing on all timelines throughout life, in all realities and all dimensions, in the future and in the past, in any time period. You know, that part of you has access to that and you have access to that by communicating with that part of yourself. And when we get in tune with that part of ourselves, we then start to realise our worth and our deservance of everything that we want and the fact that it's so possible to have it because that version of you exists and you can step into that version at any time through bringing yourself back to the present moment and taking care of yourself and raising your vibration through all of the million ways that there are to raise your vibration which to me is kind of by living in your truth because once you live in your truth you'll do things that you enjoy you know and that raises your vibration and it also allows you to connect with other people that are on the same wave which then also raises your vibration so it really is just about tuning into yourself and tuning into the higher aspects of you that know a lot more than your conscious mind does and then being able to take care of yourself and implement all of these spiritual practices so that you have time to actually be still with yourself and have those kind of conversations and do your shadow work and stuff but yeah so I hope this made sense and kind of opened your mind to the fact that you can have your abundance and your abundance is already yours we just need to stop fear in the future stop going into the future stop doubting the future stop over analyzing the future and realize that you create it right now you create it in the present moment. So bring yourself to the present moment and what your vibrational state is right now, you know? Because I would always fear the future and I would always be trying to get there, trying to reach something, trying to just, like I lived so far in the goddamn future that my vibrational state in the present would always be low because I felt like I lacked something in the future. And now that I'm feeling lack in the present moment, well, that's just going to create more lack in the future. And then the reality that I'm going to reach in the future is more fear. So we have to bring ourselves back to the present moment and be conscious of what we're consuming and the kind of thoughts that we're thinking and the belief systems and, and the kind of behaviours and habits that we're creating in the present so that we can switch them to all of the things that exist in the future like all of the things that you actually want in the future you can get in vibrational alignment with them right now and that will help draw more of them to you in the present so yeah <laughs> that was a little rant and lecture to myself and i hope that it helped you i really really appreciate you listening and watching it means so so much to me don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and you can check out the description box below for all links to my music my social media my phone number my jewelry brand my everything else about me my website and 
so so much more and I will see you in next week's video what else was I going to say oh don't forget to comment down below if you have any video suggestions because I would definitely love to hear them and I will add them to my video list and I will see you in the next video bye you could say I love you I can't get enough but I just want you to myself I don't need you when I fuck you Need you when you touch me I